So I have actually have an idea. What if we go to this La Buena Armada concert? I'll take one for the team, run in, get knocked <laughs> the fuck out, punch <laughs> whatever. We get a FaceTime from Pedro. We could get a feature or f- bring him in the podcast. That's kind of smart. Man. That's yeah. worth it, fool. Like, That's worth you- it. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to Agusto Papa Podcast, the podcast by Los Taquaches. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. That's why I had to stop. <laughs> I know. But um, for this podcast, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been supporting us. Like, that, it just, that shit means a lot. It's amazing, honestly. It's crazy because I actually did put a lot of thought. We p- fucking went days, like, drilling holes and everything and going to home depot like it's paying off because people are liking it no one's really doing this and i mean i don't know if anyone else is doing it but the way we're doing it's way different and people are liking it people are even like noticing it hold on let me put some chapstick on the production of the podcast is very high quality yeah everything our tiktok videos too like we put a lot of time we don't just like put the camera and boom a lot of editing a lot of planning too planning and like um today everyone was asking us to do a basically a slavon armado like the incident about with the girl we got a lot to tell you guys like a bunch of new information hold up (laughs) you have to be (laughs) true i already had to put it on you need to be seen by thousands you have to look good but basically yeah um everyone was asking for it part two I mean, part two, uh, episode, episode two for the Salah Buen Armado concert. And we got a lot to tell you guys, a lot of funny stuff um, about us hitting up the girl, a bunch of stuff. But before we want to start this episode, we want to invite someone. We want to invite our... <laughs> Chulo. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. But we're going to invite our best friend. Ricky's not here today, but you guys are going to see him a lot. Our singer... Creator. Edgar Castillo. He's like, he's a multi-talented man. Oh, yeah. YouTuber, musician filmer that's right that's right just get the fuck over here now. get over here give edgar some, castillo give, give me some sugar Yo. the cutie in the group nah, yeah. bro, that's all you. make sure to put those headphones on right because we want you to the hear cutie, us the cutie. clearly uh, um, um. introduce yourself bro please all right guys my name is edgar castillo i kind of sing i do you a little sing. Bit. you stop saying that always all the time, always all the time. Nah, he yeah. he's our singer oh, for those that don't know, we were a band, the three of us, literally the three, three of, us. of us. You have the whole team right here. Searches up, he's a three right here. And yeah, yeah um, you guys are going to be seeing him a lot on the podcast. This is the first time, he's kind of nervous, I I'm, can tell. I'm actually nervous, bro, like, like I'm literally like shaking. Yeah, because in front of us <laughs> is actually four cameras. A like, big ass light. Like big ass light, like a light here. There's a bunch of stuff, I, you yeah. know, one day you guys will see everything. But yeah, we're inviting him today because... You know, we're gonna, he's going to be on here a lot, but um, mm-hmm. we got a lot of information about this. La Buena Armado. <laughs> the concert. You saw it, right? Yeah, bro. That's just crazy, it's fucking bro. funny. Um, I just want to ask you something. All right, bro. Hit me with it. What would you do that with your girlfriend? Fuck. I already bro, asked this. You bro. asked me that, and I was like, <laughs> damn, I don't know. Pues que Dios la bendiga, bro, because <laughs> fuck that. I ain't getting up there. <laughs> bro, that was like 6'5", bro. You play that, run that video back, bro. No, I'll play in a bit, but basically for the, for those that don't know, it's La Buena Armado had a concert in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Mm-hmm. It was with Lenny Ramirez, um, Cody Guerrero. I've never s- heard of him. Ricardo Emanuel. I, r- I don't know who they are, but um, it's La Buena Armado was there. There's a bunch of funny clips. I don't have this clip, certain clip on me, but there's like a clip of Pedro being carried up. You sent it to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they just, the security literally just carried him like. <laughs> like a baby, bro. It's so funny. <laughs> like a baby. Um, Yeah, there's another clip of like Brian just throwing a pen from far because. <laughs> They were, like, being escorted out quick. And a bunch of funny stuff. We did hit up the girl f- and Kale. guess what she said. I feel like she was, like, positive about it. Like, Well, she was positive about it because people did tell us that Pedro did um FaceTime her. And um, she was okay with it. She, that, she even said, um, what did they comment? They were like, that it was worth it or something like that. But um, <laughs> do, do you think that's worth it? I mean, I mean that's like someone who she a really part of loves. like being like embarrassed in front of everybody. Like I feel like she played it off well. Like she could have acted mad and like everybody see her mad, but like she did the yeah. complete opposite. She was like a good sport about she could, it. I, you think she could have done something about it too? Like her being like the fuck. No. Out. Well, I mean it's not the security's fault. The security did his job. Like <laughs> <laughs> she could have got up faster, bro. She took like a while to be honest. After seeing that video, she was down for like literally a minute. I know. It was like real. an hour. Like she like <laughs> slept there. The concert was over, and she. Woke I up. think I'm she was kidding. she was in the wrong because one that security job was doing her job. His and, job. 
<laughs> his job. Her job, her job of fucking knocking her. And out. then like she was running up to an artist like, yeah, that's, that's kind of like you never know what, what a person's intentions like yeah, truly, right, truly. So I feel like she was in the wrong, but she took it like a champ and she yeah, got a FaceTime and, um, call from Pedro. I uh, yeah, that's true. That's badass. So I have, actually have an idea. What if we go to this like, one Mala concert? I'll take one for the team, run in, get knocked the fuck out, punch <laughs> whatever. We get a FaceTime from Pedro. We could get a feature or f- bring them in the podcast. That's kind of smart. Yeah, that's worth it, fool. Like, even you, like, fall on your head or something, but it's worth it. Ah. Oh, like, act like fucking, act like, like, do, like, 20 model metas and shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, um, we hit up the girl. So, this is crazy. This is why I'm saying, like, this podcast shit's so, well, like, our fans, like, dude, I'm amazed. Like, I literally made a joke on the comments. I was like, what did we interview the girl? What's her IG? And you guys found it Damn. like quick. That's crazy, bro. I was just like, what? Talk about and the I searched power it, yeah, of I social searched media. It up. I, ser- I messaged her on Instagram on the podcast account. Follow us. And she blocked us. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if she blocked us or if she deactivated her account. Damn. Bro, look, I think she deactivated it. You She'd probably get hit up by everyone, bro, yeah. after that video. That's weird. And another thing, I also hit up the security. No, nah, nah, yeah, 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 that's my daddy, daddy, I know. Yeah. That'd I be wish. Funny, that'd be funny. That'd be funny. Like, I, I thought about it like before, and I was like, "Fuck!" I like, what done was it. going on through your head when you did? <laughs> <laughs> like, even though we would, if we would have had the girl, on, what, what would we ask her? Like, what was she thinking of running up to an artist like that? Nah. Well, obviously, <laughs> she was excited. Did it hurt? <laughs> no, no. How, I'm how hard was the floor? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure she did it from excitement, but like, yeah. Like, what was her like reaction when that happened? Like, when the security well, guard like grabbed her and threw her like what the fuck like was yeah. she shocked was she like or after too because i'm pretty sure in the beginning it's kind of like i don't care how i, I want to see pedro and then like after she's like what did she do did she go to like the fucking back room back down like i wonder nah, she, she got i think she just got up and because pedro's dad picked her up remember and then she, yeah she got him to pedro yeah so damn. they took it like a champ she she she's a champ <laughs> <laughs> she won that round but yeah um a lot of people like what we did with that uh tiktok podcast where we also put pedro's dad like screaming and shit like, yeah yelling a lot of people like the effects that we put into yeah that's why i noticed in the comments. so i think we were gonna do a lot of that like i'm saying like we're doing something different like mm-hmm. my goal with this podcast was it's like working because i remember telling my friends like i want because i used to watch podcasts like not because there's no podcast for like that watch shit like people are saying you know like first podcast for that watches yeah and that sure. was my goal i was like i want to start a podcast where I want to bring in younger audience, like people who don't really listen to podcasts, mm-hmm. and also add music and like that watch a shit. And yeah, it it's worked. like a culture. It's a whole culture. Yeah, it's really cool because, um, yeah, maybe I don't know if anyone else is doing it, but I know for a fact no one's doing it the way we're doing it. It's Hell fucking no, sick. But fuck, like I'm by adelante, bro. Yeah, like the support we're getting, support is crazy there for dude. sure. Like it was as a group, we we do get support, but like holy shit we're getting some paragraphs and i'm like what like i've never for like, real i almost bawled my eyes out like I'll, <laughs> some girl sent like a long paragraph because she was um she was like she, she was saying us how she liked everything we did but she also gave us that advice for real yeah i, I saw the message it was it was, it? it was deep yeah yeah and she sent a voice message too so i'm pretty sure she's listening to this i forgot her name i think it's like kenny or something like that but i was just like holy shit you got me like at the moment i was like right after the gym too i saw it, i was like what the Oh, yeah man. bro that's crazy like i never imagined something like that and it's it's cool and then sure. I, she was telling me how she ran like a clothing brand and i was like oh like i hope you are just like you're helping us like we'll share it and then it turned out that um her sister's like way more famous no it's <laughs> so, all like share us <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it's pretty cool um it's dope i do have like all the clips again if you guys want to watch them like <laughs> it's fuck like she Rolling felt hard, board. like yeah. I think we should do a little quick recap for sure. Uh, a little quick recap. This is the first angle. Um, I think in the comments, the guy told us that his dad was the one that recorded it, and his video started blowing up, so he started getting like excited. But this is one of the clips. Oh my! See, no. but that, that was extra right there, though. So like the security turn, and then like you know to direct her the opposite way, right? But then he did that like extra. <laughs> I'll watch it one more time. It was almost like a WWE move. Bro, 360? Like, like that was enough. That was enough. But no, that extra. Look, he didn't care. He went back. Dude, and it was too late to use the hands too. Do you guys like catch that? What do you mean it was too late to Yeah, use? like look, bro. She was like on her phone. Like she freaking like. Oh, really? Yeah, like she preferred holding oh, yeah, on to the right, phone. You're right. You're Check right. that out. I don't oh, know. yeah, you're right. Screw my phone. 
<laughs> what iPhone was it like? Is it the newest one? Because <laughs> if it's a five, yeah, I would have fucking smashed that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Use that for like coverage. <laughs> for coverage? For like a like a break the fall. <laughs> Apple Care. <laughs> Do, okay. Does she have Apple Care? <laughs> oh, well, yeah, there, there's another angle. Um, this one's more like clear. Whoever recorded this one was probably like on a Samsung, but this is probably like iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. So nah, well, you have a Samsung. I don't have a Samsung. No, I'm saying because it didn't load. Oh. Damn. See, sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's definitely better quality. <laughs> nah, bro, se pasó, yeah. dude. Se pasó. Nah, definitely. Like, what do you think the parents saw, like, overall, like, seeing their daughter up there on stage? Like, getting knocked the fuck out. True. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that the parents had, like, a whole, like, damn, that's my daughter. Like, and I, and I think when I when I messaged her, I think she had, like, a guy's name on the bio. Like, so she had a boyfriend. No. So then, like. So the boyfriend didn't do his job. Well, the boyfriend's <laughs> obviously not up there. He probably <laughs> dipped after that, bro. I would have. <laughs> <laughs> For real, you never know. Yeah, like. but that, that that was so extra, like, 360. You know, boom. But, she, again, she didn't have to run because, you know, again, like. You don't know their intentions, like you said, yeah. Jason. But um, yeah. And then another thing that a lot of people liked was um, Pedro's dad. Fuck. Oh yeah, like recap. He gets recap. down. He gets down. Recap, little recap. But the voice crack. Porras. <laughs> Dude, his voice cracked. It's funny, but like, <laughs> <laughs> like you said, who do you think voice fucking? It's more tired, like, at the, at the end of the day, like... Can you sing? You know what it's mm. like when your voice is fucking tired, but... This is some next-level shit, like, fucking screaming. This is, like, some goth Non-stop. metal. Bro, he definitely didn't fucking speak Metallica. the next day. He didn't speak the next day after that, bro. You think he takes, like, fucking... He warms up his voice, too? Freaking takes, like, honey and salt. <laughs> <laughs> he probably warms up his voice with Pedro, like, all right, Pedro, uh, let's start the vocal fuck. warm-ups. I'm just kidding. I think it's cool that, um... Eslabon Armado are still being, like, managed in a way by their parents, because... It's like, tough. usually, like, let's just say... Nah, I don't want to put anyone on blast, but... As a musician and you're young, like, you get into, like, the drugs and the alcohol and all this shit, but... I think since, like, Pedro's parents are always there, like, it, they lead them in, like, the right direction, too. Truly, like, a small I remember, movie. um... Who told... Angel told us, too, that he he noticed that, and it's pretty cool, because... In the music industry, you do see a lot of that shit. We see a lot of that yeah, shit. Yeah, you see yeah, a dude. lot of stuff. I've never seen Kogan until I was a fucking... We were we started the group. Yeah. yeah. And I was like 16. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I know. And I tried it and it was... <laughs> I know. <laughs> nah, I didn't try <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fucking like the limit for me. But I think it's cool. Like, that's you know, the limit for you? So what else? No, no, I'm saying... No, I'm, <laughs> I'm saying like I would never do that. Like that's like too much for me. Like I don't, I don't do it. I don't do anything. <laughs> like I, you guys are into like some heavy shit. But like for me, it's like... Nah, nah, nah. nah. Kidding. Nah, nah, nah. We're... No, for clean, real, clean. I definitely see like their parents that are they're on them, and then yeah, especially being a young a young musician, yeah, there's a lot young. of people like there's talent for sure, but for then sure. The, like there's the music, there's the business side too, exactly. the talent and like the music. So yeah, and there's more to it too. I know they make good money, but I don't. I, what I like about Islam Islabon Armado is that they don't like flex their shit either, right? True, like, bro. To bring like even their own fans down. Like there's people who are like, ah, oh, you don't have this shit, you don't fucking have this fucking rolex but like that's to their own fans because think yeah. about it without their fans they're they aren't shit yeah that's like a foundation for sure so i think that's really cool that's like when i also has like their parents like on their ass in a way but and you could tell they give them their space too like whenever they want to like do their little parties and stuff like that like the party that what my bed couldn't get in but yeah like they they take shots i don't i'm pretty sure like they don't do it where it's like yeah oh pedro get drunk you know like just for the show to yeah, get like the fans for screen, sure. but yeah i think that's cool i mean oh yeah probably like chill parents for sure but like obviously <sighs> keeping them on checks yeah chill parents and yeah definitely 100 percent believe that would you okay like let's just say um you're their age and well, like, we kind of are their age no no they're a little bit younger huh? they're like little, a just like a year like younger a year. i think like and you had a chance to like have your parents like guide you and like you could take them on tour would you want to take them on tour you would be like oh no i got it you know? <laughs> Damn, that's, a <laughs> that's a pretty tough question like it is cause and I, hey, feel I want like you to answer that too all right you go for and you answer it too all but right, for i sure, feel for like sure. um because the tour life like I, I heard it's crazy because like you're up and down up and down and, like true. you're tired like and it's like a like frustrating process to be touring oh, yeah, dude. from what i heard yeah. from what i heard like being everywhere damn like i feel like myself 
Oh, it's kind of hard because it, I feel like once you get to like that level, you kind of don't want your parents there, right? You kind of want to be independent, but I feel like for me, I trust I I trust myself a lot, and I've just as a small like being in a small group of like I've never done anything where it's like like out of your comfort zone because we so. d- we do get offered shit like that yeah for we, sure and uh, to me i was kind of like shocked to get offered like you know what we get offered but i feel like i do trust myself and i wouldn't want my parents but i wouldn't mind my parents being in that journey with me no, for, for sure. sure what do you think i don't know damn bro i'm kind of stuck to be honest like i mean a parent dude like they're your support you know mm-hmm. for like real? with me like like you were saying like i know my limits to everything but like I feel like music, like, I mean, you guys all know, man, it comes with, like, a sacrifice. Mm-hmm. Like, it's both mentally and physically draining. Like, there's some times where, like, you know, like, people might see you, like, on good terms, like, all happy. But, like, deep down, you know, you're not good. So, I feel like it would be good to have a parent. Just And like, people think it's easy, too. Yeah, like, it's oh, not you easy, music. It's, it's not easy. Yeah. It's For a lot real. of the sacrifices. Like, we, like, us playing, even just the gigs, like, at New Year's, we couldn't be with our family. I remember my family came from Mexico, and I couldn't even, like, be with them. But it was a sacrifice too. I was like, "Oh sure. shit!" Like, so I don't know. Yeah, you're kind of working too. Yeah, we were working. We've done a lot of holiday gigs, and I played on my sister's birthday. <laughs> she, I didn't know it was her birthday. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you think? Uh, I think same as you, bro. Like, I think I like I know who I am, and I I know my limit, and I I just find um my way around, and obviously like we have each other to support each other yeah. and, and we like, do support each other uh, yeah like, and like we we could always be honest with each other and be as transparent with each other as we can you know mm-hmm. and i feel like that comes with like everything that goes on tour like you just need to be honest with yourself as well For too. Sure, like how bro. you feel mentally and physically and like taking care of yourself too because like yeah i'm pretty sure like when these fools are are like um touring they're like up and down and like mm-hmm. they get hungry because like you know oh, how yeah, like dude. we're at we'll be at oh, gigs horrible, and like bro. like Unas mal pasadas, like, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes they don't even have food. We'll fucking eat grass and oh, shit. Oh, yeah, that's the worst, yeah. bro. And then we're they so offer us food, like, when we're about to leave. I'm like, bro, like, yeah. Or when, ca- when it's kind of nasty, remember the oh, carnitas yeah. that they have, like, eyeballs and shit? <laughs> that was oh, gross. They're like, pelos and stuff. The yeah. meat yeah. all the pork, soggy. It was, like, toenails. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but, I mean, yeah, like, it's music. It comes with the sacrifice for sure, but. Yeah, bro. And I'm really happy, like, I don't know, like, I really look up to Slabon too, because it's like, I don't know, like, if I do, if we do ever become, we, we we are gonna become something big, but um, like I would like to kind of follow their path too, cause think about it, they work out. Peter lost a lot of weight. That's oh, yeah, that's dude. fucking cool. Brian's getting above. I don't I don't really follow the other guy Gabriel, but I think that's cool too, cause like they're investing in themselves too, True. not into like lean and like all that shit. Yeah, yeah, I think it's just like a different vibe with with the music. And then I feel like when it's other type of music, I feel like you're well, pers- maybe, yeah, too. you're pursuing a different type of image where right here it's more, it's more like clean, I guess. Yeah. True. You think that comes from like where they were like raised, like from their backgrounds, or you think it just came like pretty much from like their influences, like oh this dude does this, like I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I think it comes down to influences for sure. Uh-huh. But yeah, dude, it's I don't know. I I'm a huge fan of this level. And that's why I said like. I hope they don't take our videos like the wrong way because we are huge fans. Yeah, yeah, like, for real. I listen to them all the time. Like their music is fucking amazing. The bass, the segunda, yeah. everything about it. Dude, <laughs> Pedro's voice is for real. It's cool. It's really unique. I think it's a very different style. I think they they learn to put in jazz. I don't know if you guys noticed, yeah. but there's a lot of jazz in in the music and, and melodic like, yeah. tones. And I also oh, feel yeah. like they're they're themselves too. I feel like a lot of musicians are not really themselves. For you're hundred percent right. Yeah, like yeah, like they're not themselves. Like you can see when Pedro makes like even TikTok, like you oh, know yeah. him just messing around. Like, damn, like he's young, he's being himself. Because usually, like, let's just say another musician who's young, like they just want to act grown already or yeah, hard, you. or yeah, hard, or hard, and like pulls like you know guns and shit, like whatever it is. But I like I I like that. Like you know, yeah. he's himself. Cool. He's being funny, he's doing like funny shit. And he's have you noticed like he's kind of making like signature moves for himself, like for his shows like when he says daddy chill yeah like, like everybody like that. knows that pedro Sh- or is that one says that there's like signature moves that and it, i'm pretty sure that Little comes phrases from, huh phrases yeah. and that comes from his personality like that's just him you know yeah, sure. yeah that's right. really dope too like hell yeah and i feel like that's the best thing too like 
being yourself and that it works for you too yeah 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 because yeah. i mean a lot of people aren't themselves whether it's mm. music youtube whatever like that's another thing i like about this podcast like i feel like we're ourselves like literally how we film that's how we are with each other like you see a lot of jokes like a lot of fucking around being sarcastic mm-hmm. and stuff like that and that's how we really are with each other yeah like, you, in the vlogs for sure like vlogs. If, you, if you see the vlogs like we're like that too yeah, like, don't think it's, like, I'm all serious, and then I know it's, like, hey, guys, like, nah, like, I'm, I'm actually like that. Like, you can ask my friends, anyone, like, I'm like that. Like, I like to fuck around. We roast each other, and that's cool. That's cool. For sure. Yeah, a lot bro. of personality going, too. Because like, it, it's cool. Because yeah. at, the, at the end of the day, like, let's just say if I were, if I were to blow up, like, imagine me being, like, like Kind of, like, two-faced, fake. no? Yeah. And a lot of people struggle with that because they blew up being this type of person, but in reality, they're not. So yeah. they have to struggle to be that other person. I don't yeah. know, like that makes sense, but no, for sure. I feel like, um, like when you blow up, like you're known for pursuing this type of image, and then you have to keep creating it and you know make it last mm-hmm. because that's what you're basically you're selling. You're selling an image, yeah, that's exactly, true. dude. And if you're doing it with your own personality, like that's like the best thing that you could do because like you're not forcing anything. It's yeah. all organic. That's the way Facts. I feel about it. Not yeah, like, w- sure. even one of the things, too, I heard about, um, I don't know who told me. I, I don't know. No, I don't think it was you. Maybe someone told you, you told me, but Grupo Firme, like, they did this image of them drinking, partying, and stuff like that. But in reality, they're not. They just do, like, puro show. So I heard that, like, they'll be, like, chilling at a club or something, and people want them to drink because that's what they show. Yeah, on stage. They're probably, like, probably tired of it or something. Like that. I don't know. True. But, yeah. Because of what the image the image as la <laughs> <laughs> okay. bro I think it's comedy dude I cracked up after seeing that on TikTok yeah it's funny. what this made me realize is the power of social media how like Hell no yeah. the power of TikTok itself way yeah, TikTok's dude. a different breed like it is a different breed <laughs> It has a different breed of like support and haters like <laughs> we, were ta- we were talking about the haters yesterday yeah, we're like dude. bro it's so crazy like I can't even put the case on my laptop. I'll get called out for having my stickers like upside down. <laughs> like, the Jason doesn't give I'm a I'm going to get cooked, guys. You're going to see on TikTok. Like, I don't know if you guys noticed cooked. on the tables, we haven't took the fucking, oh, yeah. the wrap off, and we saw the barcode. And I was like, bro, we should take it off before TikTok are going to yeah. see it. Like, YouTube's more calm, but TikTok like, fuck, bro. Yeah, like, that's a pass on, bro. Yeah, that's, like, more savage. You can't even have, like, fucking, like, can't even breathe. You just get <laughs> roasted. Like, oh, it's bro, just fucking sure. breathing, yeah. For real, bro, but. I see how that goes, I know. Everything, what I like about TikTok is that like you start on tiktok and then you put your let's just say your instagram or your youtube like and everything distributes yeah like, literally true. everything distributes and I, I think that's and we saw it happen too like it's we're barely starting like we're getting a lot of well to me it's a lot of support like but i saw my youtube your instagram my instagram like i saw all that shit kind of like the numbers go up even ricky, ricky yeah, was on for really? one episode and i was like holy shit they're tagging him and he's not really used to this like social media stuff so i was yeah. like damn that's cool maybe he He'll like it and probably, you know, like yeah, try to do something about it too. But TikTok's crazy. A lot of people did blow up. A lot of businesses went up because of TikTok. Yeah. Like, what are some? Who are some singers that like took advantage of TikTok and created something? Is that one out of model, bro? One for sure. Is that one out of model? Yeah. No, not because of TikTok. Ev- everyone was playing Contos Besos and and then. Yeah, but it, they were already it, big. I know they were already big, but like I feel like with that with that like album. Like, it just expanded them even more Give them that because of TikTok. Because you know how you could uh, choose their song? Yeah. And oh, like, you using, using the sound. U- using yeah. the sound. That's I think that, that that's, like, crazy. Yeah, like, there's a guy called, like, uh, I barely noticed him, but Ivan Cornejo. He uses, like, a lot of the echo shit. I think you showed me. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I barely searched him up in the morning. I was like, holy shit, like, this who, like, I think he signed. He signed by... Manzana. Man- yeah, Manzana really? Records. Yeah. yeah. Damn. He's gonna make um a song with um the guy that went to jail. Los de la O. Los de la O. Yeah. Oh, damn. He's yes. gonna make a song with him. And he blew off TikTok. Yeah, he blew off TikTok. Yeah, like he just uh, sit down like outside with his friend and puts the echo and yeah. I was like, damn, it's cool. It hit. Fuck, There's another guy crazy. too. I think. Well, I don't know if he hit this way, but uh, Christopher Navas, a uh, step oh, brother, Gabe, sure, bro. Gabe, Gabriel, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, him too. Who else? Randy Galarza. Oh yeah, we know him. He makes um, them funny as TikTok. Yeah, he started off. He even told. Well, he didn't tell them. I don't know why I said that. Um, there was a video, like kind of like an interview. He was like, "I thought TikTok was whack, but I posted like a little skit. It worked, and boom, boom. And his mu- even though the skit's different than the music, it helped his music go up too. Yeah, it's like a win-win, huh? Yeah. No, that shit's crazy, bro. Like, 
when i saw the product has freaking go up bro i was like what the hell like because yeah. i was literally on my phone bro and like i saw you it came out like, on the for you page huh yeah i was like what the hell like i know these foods don't <laughs> like i recognize the bag and i saw diego like no way like these foods are already like almost like half a million you know like mm. damn this shit's crazy bro it is because it's crazy for when real. i made the account i was like i didn't even follow it on my it personal three, i, I didn't even try to share nothing i was like yeah. i'm gonna just post and like let it do its thing because i well i don't want to sound cocky but i knew it was gonna do something that's good it's like for a lot of reasons but i i knew because just being different in general like i like watch a podcast with good production like i did spend a lot of money on this and i didn't even though if it wouldn't have worked out i still would have been happy because you guys know how long i've been talking Hell about yeah, a podcast bro. like dude i want to yeah. do a podcast yeah like that. Like, since last year and then Later on, we're going to show you guys, like, a before and after, right? No, I'm, I'm actually searching it up right now, but... Yeah, we have a before <laughs> and after, talking. like... It, like, you guys can see right away that, like, the difference is huge. Like, the, from the lights, from the Everything. the walls, the way we're sitting, the mics. Just check it out. Yeah, so, um, this was the before. This was last year, a little bit before COVID hit. Hey, but don't cook us. Yeah, don't cook us. <laughs> Think about it, bro. Like, we were on a couch and... Squash that's, that's basically it. like squash them like my knees were touching jason's neck and i felt uncomfortable like <laughs> gecko would breathe loud oh you guys haven't met gecko but gecko's gonna be here too he's really funny oh, yeah. he looks like the guy who um, was hitting the door at tony loya's concert <laughs> oh no jack, jack black? black yeah <laughs> but yeah um ricky was there chino was in there i mean well he's chino we call him chino oh, yeah. editor, but he was in there because he left us <laughs> no, <laughs> i did yeah that's when you left us no way. if not you wouldn't have been on damn i didn't even know that guys yeah like we started and fuck it's funny because we recorded two episodes and they didn't end up going up because of why? Because we took long to edit them. And oh yeah, we took long to edit. But we talked about other shit too. It wasn't like attack watch it. That wasn't our intention. It was more like personal stuff, like just talking to each other. Yeah. But yeah, honestly, I could have just done the podcast like the same way right there, like just sitting down and mm -hmm. mics. That's it. But something I told my friends that, well, both of them, and like some other friend that I know what you're gonna see. This year. No, I, I know. What I you're feel like say. everything I do. And I feel like everything you guys should do, and you guys too, like, do it right. If not, then, like, don't really waste your time, but... Because, I mean, it. just go, Preach. like, 100 on it, and you'll get results, and... I'm kind of getting results. Like, I'm happy with what I'm getting, and fuck. It's fun, too. Like, literally, all everything that I spent, like, ni me dolio. Nah, I bet, bro. Yeah, even before Blue, I was like, nah, ni me duele. Like, I, I really want to do this, because... I'm going 100 on it. Like, I'm not just, you know, doing, like, some little simple stuff. I want to make sure the mics, the audio's right, the cameras. The cameras we have are, they're pretty pricey. The mics, fucking everything. And I had to learn, I, I learned, too, like, how to use the audio, too. Like, like to listen to each other, too. I was like, holy shit. Like, yeah, I spent research. a lot of time. It was research. definitely a learning experience. Yeah, I know. And then you also learn how to put the podcast on the podcast app yeah. and spotify you saw how i would come with like boxes of like mics and everything we would test test yeah. like no nah, i don't like the sound like the sizzling sound like i want it to be perfect yeah and as best as it can and it's gonna get better we were actually talking about like these expensive as oh like, yeah the sure ones, fuck, bro. Like, <laughs> these are like the most famous podcast yeah. mics, like the top of the line and i remember one day i was frustrated when starting this podcast and i told him like i don't care i'm gonna order them and it's like bro don't order them you should like weigh like test it out and i was so mad that day because the ones really? i ordered yeah they didn't come out how i wanted them i was like Fuck. there was a sizzle sound in yeah there's a sizzle sound we couldn't get rid of it yeah and i was no. like i don't care like i'm gonna spend like this much this much and good thing i didn't <laughs> Fuck. yeah it would have been the grand just on mics alone but but next season is gonna be a different setup for like, sure this is the first setup for season one yeah we're gonna change two. the set too so it's gonna be something i was gonna ask you something what's up bro are you straight? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, <laughs> how does it feel being in the podcast? Like, bro, like, I'm are you really, still nervous? Like, I'm still nervous. Like, even though, like, I sing to, like, a public, like, yeah, because that's what I was thinking. I was like, bro, we literally play at gigs in front of people. Like, these are just cameras. I know, for real. I just have, like, literally, like, 10 cameras in front of me. I don't even know which one to and look at. I know. And the lights right. are literally, like, on my face. And then just knowing that, I mean, my boys have, like, a fat fan base, too. I'm like, yo, they're going to cancel me for literally anything. <laughs> I, I literally told you guys yo they're gonna cancel me because i'm wearing my hat this way or literally anything yeah because tiktok is fucking yeah. crazy bro like i'm sensitive <laughs> yeah yeah I, I remember in the beginning when we started music like you're barely working on it it's cool well, both of you guys are actually working on it you would 
you were like kind of insecure huh like with everything really bro literally and you too yeah oh well, like now i feel like you you're coming you guys are coming out of your shells yeah for well sure. like like ah oh, how should i explain it like music was more you and then just like as a person me huh? yeah for like real? now you vlog you're both of you guys are vlogging check both of their channels out oh by the way i'm gonna have like all the our info like down below so you guys can follow subscribe to them and stuff like that but yeah you guys wouldn't do that like for reals and i i feel like i had to say this um like diego really like pushed me and like he's like dude like who cares like if you're uncomfortable like imagine how i felt when i started it. like it's hard he, like, he, oh, yeah. he's well, like he start you start somewhere and then as you go you progress and then i learned i kind of like learned it and i kind of like apply it to my life because um right now like i'm into like songwriting and then i i saw some like consejos like on the internet you know the internet's so like powerful you always come up with you come like you always see some valuable like message and it says like oh, okay like you're gonna whatever you're gonna do it's gonna be sucky but mm -hmm. like once it's done being like ass like it eventually gets good and i feel like that's what happened with diego like he wasn't used to the camera but as time went on like he learned to like be on the camera right and yeah, that just goes along with everybody else everything else yeah because when i started vlogging you felt uncomfortable i would make in everyone too. turn around yeah yeah and my girlfriend would be next to me like nah turn around like i yeah. can't even do this but another thing i wanted to say as a young like making it big like let's say it's, since we're talking about slavon armado like they're young they're younger than us yeah we look like this. we look younger but, <laughs> um like how do you think they felt like i don't know we're just fucking blowing up quick For and being real, on stages yeah. because the uh the bass player brian tovar he looked sh well he was shy i could see how he's like you know like getting out of his show like i said but like how do you think it was for them and how they, they hit covid no concert and then boom like all these fucking fans like yeah, yeah. i think it's, it's something that it just happens right away and you kind of slowly learn to adapt with it because yeah. you have to bro oh yeah dude i feel like covid kind of helped them out though because like they had so much time to prepare you yeah, know true. so they started gymming they started getting that confidence so when they went back on stage bro well like for, for the sure. first time all these big shows they're kind of a little bit more comfortable and pedro you know? lost a lot of weight bro like, oh, yeah, how bro. do you do that like it's so quick like <laughs> i think it was our fasting boy, our boy gecko like <laughs> he literally struggles so much bro <laughs> like he doesn't eat for years and he's <laughs> <laughs> nah i know i'm just exaggerating <laughs> gecko did this all the way but pedro like i feel like he just drank water for like I think he Wait, did fasting, bro. I don't know what that is. Can you tell me? Fasting is, uh, I mean, being fast. I have an idea <laughs> of, uh, about what it is, but you basically time your meals like, like, my sister does it or used to do it, and the way she explained it is like, oh, I I only eat one meal in the morning, and I can't eat past eight, and then like you have to drink a lot mm, of water. Yeah, that's damn. like fasting. You really like. Yeah, I had an idea, but I didn't want to say. I don't want to sound dumb because you know TikTok. Well, crazy I don't know if I sound dumb. Oh, yeah. Who, yeah. Like I probably sound dumb. Like <laughs> to someone that actually knows what fasting. It's cool is. that they have the their own gym too. They don't really? have to like yeah at the I, I the records that. gym. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, which is cool because imagine they go to like fucking like Planet Fitness or some shit. <laughs> They'll probably have a fan run up to. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> they wouldn't feel comfortable like working in front of everyone. Like imagine like. Because Pedro was, he was pretty chubby and True. imagine he's just working out and people are recording and that's kind of uncomfortable, yeah. especially how he's trying to lose weight, but fuck, bro, this was like props. How do, you, how do you think they take fame? Like, mm. you think they're like taking it well or like I good think or bad? So. How do you think they feel with all these fans? So you think, I mean, at one point you have to get annoyed at like, oh shit, like, yeah, but no matter how big you are, everyone admits it. Like, you know, at one point you just want your privacy and for real, because once you go famous, you're privacy is gone and yeah that's how it is they can't really go anywhere without being like mm -hmm. chased taking fucking pictures but you know in the beginning it's cool i feel like in the beginning it's cool because yeah. we got to experience that too like we weren't that big but we would go to the malls like can i take a picture with you guys and we're like oh, yeah that's fucking sick that's like, sick, yeah. I like cool. i wish i can always have that but then i i feel like at one point it's kind of like it's too much yeah not yeah. just that because i mean like we're human you know we go through problems too like yeah. what if one day they get you off guard you know like you don't want to come as a bad person and yeah something that's something yeah. real. another thing too you gotta be careful with girls oh i do yeah. that for girls sure. and fame no good combo <laughs> <laughs> damn but um that's nah, just, it's just <laughs> no good combo because yeah like they'll, they'll they'll do anything bro like to like whether take them down or just i don't know like i don't know how to explain it to you i feel like there's a lot of nvidia too yeah what do you mean 
like envidia like, i know what it means but like what do you mean by it like probably like someone like could be jealous of like your success because mm-hmm. i feel like there's there's um a lot of unspoken things that go along with success you That's think, true. You think when they have parties too, like, because obviously they had a party where they didn't like wet them up in. <laughs> Damn, um, we you cook think, them all hard. You think they have like these like fucking like NDA contracts too? You guys know what those are, right? NDA? Yeah, where they can't see Not shit. Just, yeah. Because in Hollywood, like some YouTubers, like they do that shit because a lot of stuff happens, man. They can't yeah. say because of those contracts. I but feel like at least some other pillow, though. Like, so you don't think that Islamon is like, they do that shit? I, I feel like they have a small so. circle. Like, I feel like they don't yeah. really kick it with too yeah. much people. And that's pretty cool, too. I don't know if it's the parents, but like, that they, they keep the circle small. But they're also taking care of each other. Because yeah. imagine if you're just like famous and I'm going to go out with everyone and you go to a party. you Someone tries to do something to you and, you know, shit just goes like yeah. wrong. But yeah, I, th- I think that's cool, too. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's, I think their parents... Are doing like a good job with that, yeah, yeah leading them sure. in the right direction and everything. And it's like, you, yeah, you have someone to guide you. Yeah, even though like Pedro's eighteen, right? Is he eighteen? I think he's I eighteen. Think, yeah. yeah, like you know, he he honestly he could do it. Like being try to be independent. Like nah, dad, like I got this. But nah, it's cool that <laughs> they still have it. Yeah, I I think they motivate me a lot too. They do. Like even I feel like a lot of young artists motivate me. Really, like. Lata El Cano, Junior H, El Abon, like a lot of young talent that's like it's crazy, yeah. that's out there, bro. There's more young talent now than like older talent, right? For, for sure, sure. Yeah, for yeah. sure, yeah. You I think because of social media? Because I feel like when you're older, you don't, uh, well, I mean, you don't, how should I explain it? If you're older and you want to put yourself out there, like they don't really use that social media shit, right? Like, like, it was like Facebook or like yeah, like Facebook or like MySpace yeah. or like, or like newspaper or like <laughs> <laughs> newspaper or Craigslist. <laughs> Craigslist. <laughs> oh, offer up, <laughs> <laughs> or they put this all on the billboard. Nah, just nah, nah. That's nah. pretty bad. Uh, these old cities. <laughs> just kidding. True. But yeah, maybe that's why. Like, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of older talent, but and the culture, bro. Yeah, culture has a lot to do mm-hmm. like with yeah. promotion. Looks too. Looks oh, yeah. too. Yeah, hopefully we this podcast gets to a level where we get to interview. A lot of people are telling us like, "Oh, you guys should interview this, interview this, interview yeah. this person." But it's hard right now because we're barely growing. We're still like small. So if we were to reach out to them, we won't get the attention. Oh, it's like one of my other shirt our shit. Oh yeah, bro. dude. Fuck, dude, that's so crazy. So like, I feel like I said that in, like fuck so crazy on the other vlog, but um, <laughs> I woke up and I te- I checked the TikTok comments. And some girl was like, oh, you guys are in a Slabon Armado story. And I was like, what? I was like, what the hell? And I, I searched up their story because I don't know. For some reason, I don't look at their story. And I saw it and it said 23 hours ago. I was like, fuck. Oh. Like, it's been here the whole time and I didn't even know. But they shared that. That's fucking dope. That, that means we, we've... I f- yeah. They definitely it's out know. There, it's, it's out there. there. And they replied to it, no? The, I, they, I put think they put laughing faces, faces, bro. Fuck, They put bro. laughing faces. You know what's it. crazy, bro? Like, what? when I saw that, the same shit happened to me, like... I want to go look for it and it wasn't there anymore. Like, how did I miss? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I almost hours. missed it too. Like, how did I miss that 24 hours of Es La Bon Armado, like putting us Yeah, that's what I'm story. saying. Like, how did I even miss it? Like, it was that's literally true. 23 hours and I was like, yeah. I need a screen recorded screenshot. I don't care what happens. Like, I need to make sure I have this shit saved. And yeah, that's fucking dope. I mean, they, they, they've seen our yeah. shit. <laughs> I feel like they vibe with it. Like, because it's like, yeah, for sure. Like, because like, we're like making fun of it, but like in a, jovial way like yeah. a way that they know it's having fun yeah, yeah like yeah because it's we're not like attacking i know we're not attacking them we're fans we had made like we're saying right now we're huge fan like we as a band too we look up to them we're like holy shit like these was did it we could do it like we could learn a little bit from them i think brian's like one of the fucking best bass Dude, players out there like for real i was like holy shit like he, he, he's definitely someone like that you could learn off of yeah him. yeah even though he made a base page and he hasn't posted shit, but I still follow him. I'm like, fuck, <laughs> bro. Like, this was something else. And you could tell, like, yeah, yeah, his passion tell. for it. Because he's doing, like, English music, too. He's not just trying to fucking do corridos. I think that's what makes him stand out, too. Like, him trying to, like, play, like, you know, jazzy shit. Yeah. Like, Bruno, I think the Bruno Mars. I don't know. But, or was that someone else? I don't know. But, but yeah, guys, we're going to wrap up this podcast. Um, Thanks for the support. Once again, it means the world to us. Um. We promise we're gonna get, keep taking out like good content. You guys tell us like what you guys want. Um, communicate with us for communicate sure. Communicate with we us. See send the shit too, cause like we wouldn't have seen that as a lot of stuff. But send the stuff. Um, 
I don't know. It just means a lot. We're going to do a giveaway real soon. We've actually been talking about it. But we're also going to take our merch. That's going to be dope. Some like Takwache fucking Sheesh. podcast merch. Cookcast. Yeah. Oh, you know how I was actually going to name it Cookcast? But I was like, nah, I feel like that's. But people were saying, oh, Cookcast, but. Yeah. I saw that come out a lot. Yeah, but Agusha Papa is like some, a word we use a lot. That's so. It. Yeah. But yeah, um, hopefully we get to one day get to that level where we get to interview these fucking big stars, especially like a Slabon. People want us to do Tony Loya and yeah. it's hard to get their attention right now because, you know, we're, we're small and they're like, nah, it's, I don't really, I don't yeah, for pero, whatever reason, but pero con el tiempo todo, todo yeah, sure. I think one day we'll definitely like get to that level, yeah. you know, just keep posting, being consistent, being smart with social media. I think that's what we're doing. Yeah. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, make sure you guys follow us. Make sure you guys follow our boy Chino. Uh, uh, Edgar. Bro, thank you guys Chino, for having me. Edgar. You're going to be on here a lot. I've already told you. Jason, too, with his YouTube channel. This is my YouTube channel. So, Oh, we're also going to have a separate podcast. I mean, a separate podcast channel, with which is just the highlights. So you, in case you guys don't want to watch like the entire video, you guys could just watch those little pieces. Yeah, we chop them up. We're available on Spotify, podcast app, um, Pandora, everything. We finally did it. And yeah, guys, yep. thanks for watching. Peace out.